to remind us of the importance of who we are as people. Because every person that's here, I just want you to understand, each one of you are very valuable in life as a human. Too many times we tie our value and our worth to a job description, to a title, to a pay plan, to a year to date figure that we can say, well, look, this is my value. This is truly what I'm worth. But I want you to understand, each and every one of you, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, all of you are so valuable as a person. You make a difference when you come into this place every day. And the person that you've been made to be, the person who you are, is very valuable to the success of what we're doing here as a company, of what you're doing in your uh, department, of what you're doing in your role and responsibilities. It's very important to understand this because I don't want anybody to ever feel like their value and worth is based off of a title, a job responsibility, a, a job description, or their hourly rate or month to date. Because it's not. You're far greater and more valuable than any dollar amount, than any title, than any esquire, doctor, reverend, whatever it may be, you know, your bachelor's degree, your, your master's degree. All of that stuff is nice and adds different stuff to your life, but you're more valuable than just something like that. And I want you to understand this because every day, this cup that you have in your hand, I want you to think of it as yourself. This cup has a different, a lot of different ways we can do, use this cup. I mean, you know, first and foremost, you can put stuff in this cup. A lot of times people will put water and drinks and liquids, but you can put other things in there as well. So we're containers, we're carriers of whatever we allow to go inside our cups. So the stuff that you have internally inside of you, that right there, it's so important to understand what you're allowing in because not only what you allow in is what you're going to be able to be and, and that's going to help develop your mentality, but it's also going to be what other people taste when they drink from your cup. So what are you putting in yourselves? What are you allowing to come in yourselves? What are you letting get in your cup? And what is that you doing to affect your mental value? I want you to understand this because you, as a person, are very, very valuable. There's stuff that I see in, in a lot of you here that you don't even see yourself. And I think of Michelangelo, he was sculpting things, and while he would sculpt things, they, it was said that he would actually stand back and he, look, he would look at the, the rock that he's sculpting, and he would, in frustration sometimes, just scream, come out, because he saw something that was inside there that he was going to unveil through, through chipping away and creating something to look like a masterpiece that he would create. And each and every one of you have stuff in you that I'm screaming sometimes, come out. We want to get it out of you. And a lot of times in this business and in life alone, we can deal with the stress and the pressures of life that can weigh on us and that can sometimes feel like it's crushing us. But I want you to understand that this cup, in the same way that we hold stuff, many times also we put weight on top of it. And if we put weight on it individually, it can hold some weight. So if I put some weight on it, maybe it can hold it without crushing. There's some weight on it. It's not crumbling. But if I put more weight on it, eventually there's a stress point and a breaking point where it gets crushed. Do you think it can hold my weight? If I stand on this? Let's see. No. It gets crushed. And many times we can feel like this. But I want you to understand that there's power in unity. There's power when we come together and we tie together and we come close to one another. And as a team, I want you to understand it's very important for us to begin to start thinking team mentality. To start thinking that we need to tie to each other when we come here. Tie to one another so that we can strengthen each other. We are stronger together than we are apart. And I truly mean that. And it's the same way that, you know, if I was to take each and every one of your cup and I was to say, you know, you and I, let me have this please. You and I, come together, you and I. 
right here, you and I, come on. You know, and I start taking your cups, you and I, come on. And I start taking, I, and I only have so much that I can hold here. But as I start taking your cups and we start coming together and we start saying, look, man, I'm going through some stuff here. I'm dealing with some pressure and some stress in my life right now. And I just need something, you know, I just need to tell you something. I just need somebody to talk to me. And maybe you're the person who listens. Maybe you're the one who, who gives a solution. Maybe you're just there to let them talk. But it's important that you tie together because unity is spelled U-N-I-T-Y. You and I tie. And when you and I tie together, we're stronger together than we are apart. And when we come together here, and this is, <laughs> this is something that when we come and we come next to each other and we support one another and we get put next to each other like this, when serious weight gets ready to stand on us, <laughs> will it hold us up? I sure do hope so, or else this is going to be a failed video that we're showing right now. But, you know, 